good morning guys not really a working trailer day uh, I'm gonna be getting ready to take you on a tour to see what all has been done we've gotten a lot accomplished in the last five or six days and we're gonna be taking a look at that so come on let's go inside All right, so check it out guys a lot has happened since we were here last have a lot of things installed pretty much everything has been installed all the AC electrical with the exception of the um, the AC main connection for the house and I'm also going to be putting in a pass-through the hole in the side of the trailer that's going to let all of the solar cabling and all of the AC cabling go out to the main off-grid panel and uh, so that will be that and uh, so you can see you got all of that installed got the battery switch with resistor installed inside this box right here is the Victron shunt did not like the Victron shunt just sitting out here exposed so we actually made this box custom just to go in there also custom built this box I'll tell you more about that in just a moment you see the four odd cable then runs right across here right there to our battery bus bars parallel bus bars and then we've got parallel cabling going on there and of course then we have our battery banks way down here and there you have it all cleaned up looking good that's the top row of cells number 17 through 32 yeah guys as you can see we've got everything connected most of the AC is done uh, got a little bit more to do but right here is our main panel and uh, this is going to be the main interior panel for the trailer. This is where the bonding of the ground and, and neutral is going to take place. Put in a, a 15 amp receptacle, goes across over this light that's lighting me up right here. It's a four foot LED bulb. Coming over here then, we've got the grow watt inverter down here. I'm going to get down here so you can see what all is going on. Yeah, we've got the grow watt right here. And then, um, then over here, got the, the charge controller. This is an extra charge controller that we're going to use because we've got 11,800 watts of solar. This is only good for 7,000. And so to utilize it all, we're, we've got this, this one that is also going to be used uh, to get things going. Going to look really good. Going to work great. I made up four of these. These are... Uh, SO wire uh, and it's 8 AUG. These are for the solar panel connections from the pole barn. The panels are on the pole barn. Uh, these are Anderson connectors and uh, they are color coded and key locked uh, so that only each array can go in only each color and you'll plug half of them in. You'll plug half of them in uh, on the outside on the power pole and the other side will come in and it's going to plug in right here. Just like that, makes a really nice lock. Probably gonna put a little piece of strapping right here to strap that down so that that stays nice and tight, uh, not getting knocked out. But these are 25 foot, and so they've got plenty of reach to go all the way uh, where we want them to go. And uh, got four of those made up, so it's gonna be great. All right, so real quick, let me take you on a little tour of what we've got going on. As I said a moment ago, here is the main switch with, uh, with pre-charge resistor. Go to position one, and that will change your pre-charge, or turn on your pre-charger just for a few seconds. Then you go to position on, turns on the inverter. This is the Victron power shunt. Uh, this is for reading and keeping measurements of everything that's going on. Enclosed it in that really nice box. Then you come down here to the grow watt, um, the grow watt uh, charge controller. That is for half of the array. And then we custom built this box using the lid of one box pre-cut for these Anderson connector um, surface mount plugs. And then put the breakers for the solar array one, two, three, four right here. Cut all this in, bolted it together added the 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 glands and then this is eight so wire again eight so wire again uh arrays one and two going there 
and array three and four going to go right down there and comes up into the bottom of the grow watt right here so that's pretty much a quick tour of everything that's been going on the last several days got it all hooked up uh, I haven't dialed any programming in yet no software is done probably tomorrow I'll have solar panels laid out in the yard uh, starting to test the solar and getting all that put together and uh, really looking forward to what's going to happen Okay, good morning guys. We're going to get started again. Today we hope to get most of the AC or all of the AC finished up with this project. Today we're going to be drilling this hole right here through the trailer that's going to let this big old six, aught, um, six gauge four wire with a ground 50 amp plug go and be mounted on the wall here and it's going to pass through this hole to allow AC power to go out to the main panel box at the off-grid farm. Uh, so we're going to get this drilled in here today. This is where the solar panels are going to pass through and this is where the AC wire is going to pass through. So it's going to be solar in and AC out. So we're going to be getting that lined in today and then following that we're going to be taking two, uh, two, two wires down the wall right here. We're going to put an AC receptacle right here in the project and uh, so that will give us more electrical power, AC power inside the trailer as well. It's probably a couple hours we'll have this hole cut in nice and clean. I'm gonna get that dressed up, I'm gonna get it watertight on the outside so that the box can, is, the, the lid will be lockable like this, a little sewer lid for RVs, got a key in it, and it'll open like this. We're gonna mount it rather than mount it like that, we're gonna mount it like this so that when the cables are through it comes down like that and sets on top of the cables kind of gives a little more rain protection but the trailer is actually going to be underneath the pole barn most of the time on the farm so it's not really going to be a major weather issue uh, so let me get this going and we'll be right back As we go outside, you can see I got the hole on the outside of the trailer, the inlet for the PV wires coming in and the AC wire going out done. And we also installed the 50 amp service, 240 volt generator input there on the side of the trailer. Got that all wrapped up as well. Everything is labeled and everything is finished up. Alright guys, we are ready to start installing our AC cable. I have down here some number 6 cable. Number 6 uh, 4 wire SO. Going to go into the main power panel. Going to crimp those off uh, with crimping ferrules and going to run it right up into this box. This will be the cable that is going to be the main plug all the way from here. It's going to go over to here. It's going to plug into this box here. There'll be an outlet here for a 50 amp for 50 amp service uh, that'll go out this hole. It's going to go out this hole right here, and uh, this will serve. It will service the the entire main panel for the farm. Here, this wire that I'm running right now from that box is going to be the main power cord that's going to go up into here. So we're going to get that installed, and man, we're going to get this thing going. So. Been a long day but we got a lot of good stuff done and it's looking really cool strip them back this is such finely stranded wire this is so very flexible very outdoorsy very durable I will be putting on I'll be putting on ferrules uh, on the on the um, on the ground and I'll put ferrules on I put a ferrule on the neutral and that way um, because those are going under screw terminals right here 
and you'll be a screw terminal here. These are cage type terminals that pull up on it, so it's not really that much of a problem. So we're going to be putting those putting those ferrules on there. And I just take this ferrule, and it goes on fairly nice. I'm making sure that they go all the way to the back of the ferrule like that, put to the back of the ferrule, so I can see copper wire coming through. And take the ferrule crimpers and put it on there. And I'm actually squaring them to the the square of the ferrule to the box, which probably isn't that important, but that way they're the same. And this kit, man, this kit came with like a million size that would fit like human hair or something. I don't even know what you'd do with those, but boy, there's a pile of them in there. I'm uh, the only thing I'm using these yellow, these red ones and these yellow ones, the number sevens and the number the number sevens and the number uh, uh, sixes, I guess they are. No, tens. So, yep, that's all we got. Feel like by tightening it down it just kind of makes for a better finished product circuit to bring in. Hey, I got one more grounding hole. How about that? Without having to go buy another ground bar. And I have got a 60 amp breaker. 60 amp double pole. Going in there. This is the main feed. It's going to feed the house. Uh, going to feed the, the off grid farm. Leaving this box. Leaving the inverter. Open this up, this breaker, put it right in there. So I'm not using ferrules on these because I feel like those cages, they are sufficient. There, tighten them down, you get them tight, now I'm torquing them to whatever feels right. Some old electricians used to say, torque them till they tweak. And that is that. And that is the breaker load right there for the full AC service. Right there. This is the inverter in. And this is the inverter out. This is coming from the grow watt inverter. This is going to the big generator plug that will feed the main panel at the house. Hey, all right, guys. We finally got all of the DC wiring connected. We've got the DC ground all hooked up. 
we've got the solar connections all put together and we have got all of the AC wiring in trailer done and that's all ready to go. Like I said, we got all the AC and DC wiring finished up. So let's take a look at what we've done. We have the input and the output AC going into this box here. And got the main breaker in and the main breaker out and a couple of breakers inside the trailer. There's your main wire DC or AC going in and out along with your couple of circuits. Everything runs down going this way. I'm going to put that cover over the uh, PV and AC in and out on the grow watt here pretty soon. And everything goes over. We got the we got a receptacle on L1, L2 here. And we got the main power connection, 50 amp, 240 volt service done up there. Also made a really nice cover uh, to cover the hole, the interior hole, the saw cut hole, uh, to get that all dressed up. Also installed a DC ground um, right off the battery negative and then everything comes in here both the AC ground and the DC ground when we're on trailer only got it strapped to the trailer put in another bus bar uh, for the DC negative and got it all grounded to the trailer via 2 aught cable and uh, so that'll help us stay really grounded when we are not connected to the solar off-grid farm and uh, the solar panels at the farm and the main panel which will have a grounding rod put into the earth itself. And that about does it for the AC wiring install, DC wiring install portion. Next we're going to get into the testing phase and uh, the software and programming of the inverters and the solar, solar charge controller. And so stay tuned for that. That'll be in another section. And so you guys have a great day. Hope you're enjoying this video. If, you, if you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe so that we can get more people watching this install going on.